Hello! In this video, we will learn how to upload any project that we have in our Excel sheet into our Monday and create a board. So let's say you already have an Excel sheet where you were tracking a project and then you want to transfer the existing project from your Excel sheet into your Monday and create a new board. So here what I have is I have my Excel sheet with some activities that I need to do for the project. I, I have the assignees like who is going to work in which activities. I have a status. I have my start date, end date, and some more columns. And I don't want manually to uh, add this information into my Monday board. And also I don't want manually cr to create all those columns there. So what I can do is I can prepare my Excel sheet. And then I can go to my Monday board and to the corresponding workspace. And while clicking to this plus icon here, I have an option to import data. And here you can see a lot of different ways on how you can import data. For this case, we will take Excel. First, you need to uh, browse the file. So you will uh, select the file that you want to upload and click open. Then you will start customizing. First thing you need to define is in your Excel sheet, which line is going to be your column names. So by default, it shows the first line. If it's something else, you can uh, select the corresponding one. In our case, it's the first line. Next, you need to select which is going to be your item names. So here again is the first line. After this, we are clicking next and we will start defining uh, the column types that we want to have in our Monday uh, board. So it by default, it gives you some suggestions that you can later on uh, change as well. So for example, here, the owner, which is my people column, as it's not um, supported while importing data from an Excel sheet, I will keep it as a status column for now. Then I have my status, which is status column and I will keep it the same way. Here I have uh, two columns, date columns that I can define. I, either I can have one date column that will show my start or date, or I can make a timeline column. So in this case, I can select timeline start column and timeline end column. Then I have here number columns that I will keep. And then I have here my uh, budget and then I have here my cost and here I have again a cost type which it suggests to be a status but I can select it to be a drop down column as well. When everything is ready I can hit create board and it will automatically create my board according to the instructions I gave and now you can see I already have my board and I have all my activities listed here. I have my status and you can see my timeline column right, which shows my start and end date just included into my timeline. And here I have my drop down. If I want to make any customizations here, for example, here my budget is a text column. What I can do is I can click on the three dots here and I can change my column type and I can select, for example, from a text column to be changed into a number column. When I'm selecting it, it offers me two options. And uh, if uh, the one that I want to keep is this one, I will click keep it and it will be changed to a number column. And as you remember here, we had our owner, which is a status column because uh, we don't have any options for uh, creating a people column. So what I can do is I can create next to it a people column. I will name it owner and then I will do a batch action. So I will filter and I will select if my owner is Hasmik and then it will show all the items with Hasmik and I will just click select and I will assign Hasmik here. The same way I will do for the rest and thus I will have all my items updated and after it's done, I will just delete this other column. I hope it was helpful and now you can very quickly upload your data. 